Greetings, everyone. I'm going to start off by saying not all dogs deserve a bone because you got some dogs that when you feed them, when they get their strength back, they will attack you. And so it goes for people too. And in this video, I'm going to share a story and I'm going to be applying this to male and female. This is not just a man thing. This is a thing that I see happening a lot to people in Canada who go home to Jamaica and marry people. And they always start out with the best of intention. Sometimes some of these women or men gave up on relationship. And when they went to Jamaica, they met some really nice people. And so they decide that they want to give someone another chance. There was a lady, and this is a true story, that lived in Jamaica with this man that she had a child with. Her father sponsored her to Canada. And when she was here, she kept going back and forth to Jamaica to see her baby daddy. Because when she came, she left her child. And so when she would go home to visit, keep in mind her and this baby daddy were very, very close. They had this amazing relationship. She said in Jamaica, people always saw them as a model cu uh, couple. So she goes to visit and then she gets pregnant with her second child. And as she's going back and forth, she's doing all she needs to do to get her situation together so her baby daddy could join her. So after being here for a year, she goes back and she marries her baby daddy. And now they have two children. She decided to work in a bar so she could you know, make money and also show the government that she qualifies to sponsor someone. And of course, it took six months for him to get his papers. And off to Canada, he came. Now, the lady and her husband and her two children, their family is complete, living under the same roof. But shortly after he came here, he met a lady from Trinidad and he left his wife his relationship for of over 10 years to be with the other lady from Trinidad. And when she was so hurt and asked him how he could do that to her after everything they'd been through, he said that he always wanted an Indian looking person. He always liked those girls in Jamaica and could never get those girls. And now that he's here, this woman saw him, showed interest in him. And so he left his partner and his two children okay now that's a story that relates to a man but you also hear many stories of women who lived in impoverished neighborhoods in jamaica whose life was so terrible that the house that they're living in you know is in such poor condition and someone goes home looks past the fact that this person is living in poverty and you know see something outside of that physical situation and fall in love with someone thinking this is a good person and as soon as the person arrive in the country the person hooks up with some other person and takes off case on point the man goes to jamaica he marries a lady obviously it was a younger lady is a much, he was a much older man and he was a christian and so his first mistake was getting involved with somebody not only 15 to 20 years younger than him, but a person who was very much into the dance hall culture. I don't know what he was thinking. He somehow felt like she was going to come to Canada and suddenly change her body rider for some long gown to join him in the church. It didn't happen. She came to Canada and two days after she came, her husband was on the highway, you know, chasing her and her new man. I'm saying all of this to say that in this era, when you look on social media, you have all these people doing matchmaking. And for the most part, the results or the ending are very sad. As I've stated many times, there's no guarantee in relationship lasting these days, regardless of where you meet or how you get to know each other. But 
there's something about suffering and I'm going to say this here without any apology. When you meet somebody and they're suffering in life, when you say you're going to take that person out of suffering, once you get that in your mindset, that you're taking the person out of suffering, you're taking a big risk, a big chance. You have to really see people for who they are to say, you know what, I love this person or I like this person a lot. This person has, you know, this, that or the other that I admire and that you see this person as an equal. So when you get together and if things don't work out, you're not feeling so devastated. But when you play the hero or the heroine and you find somebody who is stationed in life, you think is so low and that you are going to be the one to take them out of it. There's a great opportunity and a great chance that those characters are often not going to want to associate with you once they get out of that state. So what I'm saying here is somebody who is very poor, poverty stricken, somebody whose late station in life is very low, somebody whose self-esteem was not very good and you're there trying to propel them or promote them or increase them. When they get to the point where they're no longer in that station of life, they could possibly grow to hate you because you remind them of that time when they were so poor or when things were terrible for them and then they don't want to associate with you anymore. It's almost like a psychological thing that happens and it happens so often so there must be some explanation that is outside of the norm to help you understand why somebody would be going through such a rough time in life and someone would show them kindness and in exchange for their kindness, what they get from these ones is just pure ingratitude. So if you're going to Jamaica and you meet a nice person, get together with the person and you decide that you want to, you know, start your life with that individual and bring them wherever you are overseas. Do it with the thought in your mind that if things don't work out, you're not going to go and say, Oh, you know, look how I stooped down to their level. Look what I did for this person. And now look what they did to me. There's a book and I'm trying to remember the title of it now. But if I remember at the end, I will say the woman meets this man, this African man, and she was not at all attracted to him. He was not her type, but he was an artist. He was a poet. And so when she started talking to him as friends, you know, he mesmerized her, you know, write this beautiful poem for her and she fell in love with him. And so she never saw him as her equal. She never saw him as someone. She almost scorned him when you think about it. But when she started falling in love with him because he was so talented, he deceived her, told her that he was going to be out of town on business and it so happened that she went to a restaurant and when she got there she saw him with another lady and she was so hurt about what she saw and the thing is she's saying he was not my type so really not only did he you know use her but she looked at him as someone who was not her equal and sometimes people can feel that too that's another topic for another story. And so when she realized what he had done, she was so angry that she gave him white oleander. That was the name of the book, white oleander. She used a flower and the white oleander is poisonous. And she gave it to him. And of course, just imagine the outcome. So the story is told by this woman behind bars. So many people get involved with people and you don't know what their mindset is. You don't know what they will do when they perceive that you use them. So a lot of these love stories go left after people get together and they migrate. Point is no one should have to end up under and no one should have end up behind bars because of these situations. 
but you can't guarantee what's in people's heart. And that's what I'm trying to say. So be very careful of who you're getting involved with, whether you're looking for an opportunity or you're looking for love. So many people call and share these stories and some of the things they say is very scary. Be very careful. A lot of these young men and young women in Jamaica, they're playing with their lives. God bless everyone.